Hello viewers, hello everybody, hello children. This is the PowerPoint class and uh, today we are on lesson number four, one, two, three, four, which means you are moving, you are moving. And today I've got a very important panelist with me. Uh, his name, uh, we shall hear from him. Kindly tell us your name. Uh, my name is Marvin Machigara and I'm 11 years old. Powerful, Marvin. Yes, uh, today, as I said, uh, we are on lesson number four. We shall hear a prayer uh, from uh, my brother Marvin, and then we start. Okay, let's pray. Our Father, what's in heaven, thank you for this wonderful day you've given us. And may you please uh, be with us and protect us. And please help the pastor as he's helping us understand better. Uh, and may you please be with us and protect us. May you please help us to understand the lesson. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. 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 Thank you so much. Uh, that was a very powerful prayer because you prayed for me. Do you usually pray at home? Yes. For Sadza or you, you, you pray for everybody? I pray for everybody. For everybody. How oh, powerful, powerful. So today we heard that we are on a lesson uh, number four, the colors of promise. I'm telling you, uh, I, I know of, of, of red, I know of green, I know of purple. Which one is your favorite color, Marvin? Uh, my favorite color is turquoise blue. Turquoise blue. Okay, okay, that's beautiful. Uh, so today we are not talking of just a single color, but we are talking about the colors of promise. These are many colors seen in the time of Noah. Do you know what it means now? If this promise was in Noah's time, uh, it means God is real. Because if Noah saw some something, some some beautiful colors uh, uh, shown by God, and then we are talking about these colors today and we are seeing them, it means the Bible is not fake. The Bible is real. So it motivates me to be seated with you here so that you tell others about the goodness of Jesus. Are we together? Yes. Right, beautiful. So now tell me our theme verse. Maybe just tell the world our theme verse of the day. Okay. Uh, this is uh, Genesis 9 verse 16 it says and whenever whenever the clouds appear in the sky and i see the rainbow i will remember my covenant between all all between god and all living creatures that crawl on the earth beautiful amen amen ah that's a powerful uh verse now you you said uh there's a statement i got from you there you had saying something about a covenant that's not a small word covenant tell us what do you know about a covenant uh so a covenant a covenant is a promise that is it's an actually an unbreakable promise that is uh between uh god and all living creatures Amen. Amen. So that's an unbreakable promise. So God had to make a covenant uh, with uh, Noah and everyone, in meaning us here. They, that's a living promise and it's still there, right? Yes. That when you see a rainbow, there's this song, I, 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 when you see a rainbow, uh, 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 but it was talking about a rainbow. We, we were taught that song when we were young and still this time, I still see the rainbow. So now let's, let's talk about Noah. Okay, I understand that Noah and his family, uh, they were they were saved and they were in the ark for some time and then they went out. But they said, there's this first thing which they did. They were they built an ark. They they built an altar uh, just after coming out uh, of the of the ark. Why do you think maybe uh, uh, they were they were building a, a somewhere to pray uh, 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 an altar? What's your take? Uh, because. Maybe they wanted to thank God for providing them and keeping them uh, and making the animals peaceful so that they don't get killed. Uh, and also that uh, the, they just took the same way of worshipping God that was there back before the ark, mm -hmm. but they just took it again because it was not an evil thing. But all the other things that used to be done before the time of the flood uh, were evil. Okay. Oh, 
beautiful. So they took prayer with them. Yes. Oh, do, you, do you go for, for school trips? Yes. Do you take your lunch in or you take prayer with you? I, I think you, you, you take your lunch in only. Do you take prayer, my guy? Mm-hmm. Do you pray? Yes, I do. Hallelujah. <laughs> exactly. That is what Noah did, and, 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 and him and his family. So uh, PowerPoints, wherever you are, always take prayer with you. Prayer is very important. And uh, these guys, they said, no, our, the first thing which you are going to do is to build an, an altar so that we can pray to God. And uh, maybe if I can ask, uh, which is uh, your, your, your God's favorite promise? We know that many promises that... I'm coming back. Jesus is saying he's going to come back and Jesus is going to say we're going to be resurrected, etc. Which is your best promise? Which is uh, which you say uh, 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 this one is, is the best promise from God, which I which I know? Uh, that Jesus is coming back and uh, he's, uh, we're going to live in heaven for a thousand years and then come back to a new earth that is sinless and uh, very and peaceful and peaceful wow that's beautiful and my favorite promise uh as well is the coming back of uh, jesus christ and i now believe because if the covenant of the rainbow stood in noah's time i can believe jesus now when he says he's going to come back and we're going to be resurrected if we die believing in him ah what a beautiful promise uh so now i see that these these people uh, 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 after the flood you know uh, uh, Marvin, I uh, discuss maybe uh, the the joys of, of, of starting a new life because uh, it was a new life coming out of the ark, and then the the vegetation is green, uh, new creatures, uh, 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 new everything. Like uh, 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 it was a new land. Mm. Give us the the joys of starting a new life. Uh, maybe joys of starting a new life. Um, we can turn back from the the mistakes that we use. Uh, to uh, from all our mistakes mm-hmm. and uh, every bad deed and uh, tend to a new life that is us that is uh, okay. that is a righteous life that is a righteous life so exactly so you mean uh, that uh, if I do bad there is a possibility that I can start anew with Jesus. There's always a chance of starting anew with Jesus. Mm-hmm. Yes, because uh, 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 that land of, uh, of, of, of when, when Noah uh, was, it was pathetic, it was sinful. Eh? It mm-hmm. was uh, Sodom. Is that so- Sodom? It's the land. Uh, it was in Sodom, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Sodom is that one of which but was... the whole world was sinful. The whole world was what? Sinful. Not uh, that one which was... Uh, uh, uh struck by uh by by fire etc yes. this one is the whole world okay yes everyone was what a sinful. and then a god says world. i want to make all things uh, new yeah. ah hallelujah so now uh, uh, if that's the case now uh we should start anew with jesus just like what uh, those guys were destroyed uh, did because God destroyed everything and then he saved Noah and his family. So now I want to thank God for saving Noah so that we can know that the promise is real. Maybe just tell us maybe the last words which you want to tell maybe the viewers. What can we tell the viewers? Uh, that uh, even though a new life may be hard, like for example, if you move to a whole new country or school, uh, that is very far away from where you live uh like a bo- like being the first time in, first time in boarding mm. uh, away from your parents and your family uh god can still help you from uh every challenges you face all the challenges you face every day so uh even we can that can be a new life and uh they, those they are new beginnings because uh it's different from uh, coming back home and being with your parents because you have to sleep with other people that mm-hmm. you might not mm-hmm. even know. Mm-hmm. And uh, most, some of them uh, yeah, do drugs, and mm-hmm. but you have to, mm-hmm. but you have to uh, stay strong and uh, keep try keeping away from the sinful life that is now uh, here. 
Exactly, exactly. Because uh, these people were destroyed, it says that they were now thinking evil continuously. They were imagining, uh, 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 they were actually manufacturing evil. Eh? Mm -hmm. it, it's one thing to do evil, it's one thing to manufacture evil. Yes. And God said, no, I'm going to destroy planet Earth because of that. And then planet Earth was destroyed by water and it was submerged and then Noah survived. So mm -hmm. uh, you see now, it's a sinful world and God is coming again to destroy this world because we are beginning to be sinful as well. So we pray that we be converted and be ready to live in a new world, we are going to start a new life with Jesus. Not a new life uh, which is going to end, but a new life forever and forever with Jesus. So it's my prayer today that when Jesus comes, we are going to start anew. This sinfulness is going to end. Lying is going to end. Death is going to end. And we are going to enjoy with Christ. Uh, anything? Uh, you, you've said something already. Uh, like uh, maybe one, 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 one last thing to say. And then we call it a day. Uh, that uh, even though life is hard, you can still go through it with God and new beginnings uh, can be the start to a new and better life. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much uh, for watching, viewers. We hope that you, you keep on, uh, keeping on and keeping in prayer. And my prayer today is that we remember God's promise that whenever we see a rainbow, it's a sign that God is no longer going to destroy planet Earth uh, with water, but God is going to destroy this world, yes, with fire. So the destruction is coming, this time different, but it's on. So let us repent and let us remember that God loves us and he wants us to start a new, a better life with him. May the good Lord bless us all and may we enjoy the lesson. Kindly subscribe and remember to share uh, this beautiful information with others. Uh, you pray first. Yes. Allow me to pray last. Okay. Should I? Yes. Amen. Yes. <laughs> Let me pray. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this day. Thank you, Lord, for loving us. Thank you, Lord, for the beautiful promise that you are not going to destroy us uh, using water. And that is still standing. And Lord, it shows that your word stands. So teach us, Lord, to to repent and know that fire is coming and we can be destroyed if we keep on uh, giving Satan uh, the room to play with us and to deceive us. Thank you for the panelist uh, who was here with me and thank you for the crew behind the scenes. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Till we meet again next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.